Okay, guys, this should be the final, 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 final on the Dart 165s, except, of course, I found a problem, and I discussed it with the customer, so the rabbit hole will continue to grow. The, the only thing that's different about this is I textured the intake valve. I put an angle on the edge of the intake valve. My phone isn't focusing worth a damn. Let's try that. Take a look at that. That's a little tough to see. I put a crappy rounded edge on the exhaust. Now, if that was a finished thing, it would be much smoother than that. But it's for testing, so we're just going to send it. Now, notice how much finer our, our mist is, uh, our, our liquid, right? Yeah, we still got a little splatters coming around the chamber. Let's check the, uh, the bore. Not a whole lot happening on the bore. You can see it's there's a little bit coming down here, not much. Very nice light powdering, a couple speckles on this side. Now, I may not have squirt as much as I usually do. I was finishing up the old can of Dicom. Finally uh, found that. Okay, as far as being in the bowl, not great. I mean, I think we've seen better than that. But then again, I don't think I squirt as much liquid in. Okay, it goes pretty close to the top. It's a little bit thinner than I'd like. Take a look at the, the valve. The valve has been textured, so that's going to change the boundary layer on the valve itself. It basically only has that one little spot of dicom on it at this point. Let's take a look down its throat. Okay, focus is really giving me a hard time. I'm not sure what's up with it. But it looks like that's pretty good right now. You can see we got a shot straight down. Stress, guys, the stress. Okay. Not terrible. The only other thing I did on this was when I went through and I equalized all the bowls, I equalized all the pinches as close as I possibly could. I did change the texture on this pinch. I changed the texture on all the pinches. All right, having big problems getting a, getting a decent focus picture for you guys. But you can see I took the, the apex of that pinch and I did do a sand roll finish on it. The reason I did that is our pinch is pretty small. It's about a 1.9 uh, square inches right now so it should only flow about 277 or so max that's at 100% efficiency on a bench at 28 and our speed through there is quite high through the whole pinch the other side is still straight that that wall has not been brought out so uh, a chunk of clay on it if we really needed the extra area, we can take it out of that wall. We can do that. And like I said, we can still take some out of the roof. The roof is tons thick right now. Okay, the part that I'm not thrilled with and I told the customer about is when I was equalizing the bowls, I used my Sioux pilots to measure how wide the bowl is on either side. And I try to get them as close to possible. It's the same as each other. It's not always possible, but these were not blown out, so there was plenty of, of iron that I could even them up. I mean, the thinnest bowl is still like 1 point, uh, 0.178 thick. You know, no problem. A lot of spots, they're still a quarter of an inch thick. Got to remember, it's still a 194, guys. That is, the, the, you know, the stock dart valve job that's on it. So how much of a difference did... A little texture on the exhaust, a radius on the exhaust, a texture on the intake, equalize the bowl a little bit, and then smooth out that pinch apex. What do you think that would be worth? Let's find out. Okay, this is one of those things you gotta kind of, uh, you gotta take it with, not necessarily a grain of salt, but you gotta remember what you're trying to do, right? The reason we have the textured valve is to 
break up our fuel a little bit, right? Add a little bit of a boundary layer to that. And it is going to be wet flow at that point, right? Because we're injecting basically at the entrance of our intake port, right? So, how did we do? Well, these pluses and minuses in reference to the last one I could find, which I remember we were right around 270 at 600. Okay, we got a minus, minus, minus. I mean, we're still 206.9, but we were up 210. Now, this was with the intake valve before it was textured before the bowl was equalized and before I rounded that pinch with the, the sand roll. We're minus all the way to 400. At 500, we got a little bit of a gain. 600, we got a little bit of a gain. And, you know, it's funny. When I went, actually, I went back to do the, the dicum. So I did all these. Then I did the exhaust. Then I come back to do the dicum because I don't want the dicum all in the exhaust port. It was flowing 277 at 600. Why was it different? I have no idea. But it just is what it is. But you have to remember, well, I don't know. How good how good was our was our liquid on this one? I'd have to go back and check the video. How'd we do as far as our swirl? Well, we got plus 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 minus minus minus. We got more than enough to get it done. That was also going to change when we hook our intake manifold up to it. Let's see how that exhaust did. Now, the exhaust port wasn't touched at all. The only thing that was touched was the valve. So, let's see what we got. Let me find the old exhaust port sheet. Okay, I almost forgot to do our air speeds. And, you know, it's always important to check your air speeds. It tells you a lot. So up top is what we had. So this was taken at 600. So this is 270. This is only like 273. Take a look at what happened with our air speeds now. This is the same. This went up a little bit. One. This went up a touch. Really didn't change much, right? The pulp pinch is plenty fast. As far as I'm concerned, if it's over 300, it's probably taking a few CFM away from you. Okay, how about our roof? Well, our roof improved on both sides. We got, we're up and up on, on it. Now, how even are we? Well, we're a lot better than we were. By far a lot better. Okay? Now, I'm sure somebody's going to say, well, what's more important, the airspeed dynamics or the raw flow? Because we got a lot of low lift flow losses at this. But so far, our air speeds are better. Let's take a look at our pinch. Pinch was damn fast the way it was. Because we're getting a few more CFM through it right now. Up, up, up. So, you guys can tell me which one you like better. You like the untextured intake valve or the textured intake valve? I know which way I'm leaning. And, of course, the customer can get whatever he wants. But uh, I know which way I'm leaning. Let's take a look at that exhaust port. All right. this is I apologize if this isn't the last exhaust we did. I remember it was exceeding 200 with a pipe. I don't know if I marked on this what size pipe it was. It should be an inch and seven eighths. I did an inch and seven eighths here. Actually, you know what it is? It's a small pipe and a big pipe. Okay, I know what I did. So how did we do? Well, the only thing that's changed is that radius on that valve. And it is still a little textured. If I smooth that out, it'll be a few extra CFM. We got plus, 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 minus, minus, minus. Right in this area, it does have some problems. See, it says P's. There is a little bit of turbulence right in this area. I'm not thrilled with. I'd like to fix that, but we may be doing a lot more to these than I was expecting, so we'll see. Plus, 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 plus. We top out quite well right in our 500, 600 area. 214.4 with a pipe, 216.4 with a pipe. Almost 200 with a 194 valve, okay? It was 193.1. Sorry, it is. That's what it is now. It was 188.8, so it gained quite a bit. 
okay? Interesting, right? I do not have the dynamics, the airspeeds for this, but I do have the airspeeds, what they are now, and they're very good, except for that one dead spot. Take a look side to side how even they are. We've got good speeds everywhere but that one dead spot in the middle. Now, if I change the throat diameter, remember this is a very tight throat. It's like 83%. It's ridiculously small. This port should not be this efficient for what it is. Now, if we change that throat, and we may be changing the valve size, all this goes out the window, which is kind of a sin because I got the dynamics pretty damn good for 194.15. The reason the valve sizes may change is when I was equalizing the bowls. Let me show you how I do it. Okay, I know I've showed you guys this before, but I'm going to show it to you again. I'm going to have to one-hand it. But what I do is I put the... Let's see if I can get this straight. Not easy to do, guys. I put my Sioux guide in there, and then I set it so it just clears the bowl. And then I go to the next bowl and make sure it's the same outside wall. And I do the same thing. I do that for all my bowls. I get them very, very close to being identical in size. A lot of extra work. I'm willing to bet most guys don't do that. The problem I had was when I was doing it, I was going in and out of the completely stock cast iron guides they don't all fit the same, which of course I have a problem with right away. Now I haven't, I haven't taken my sun in valve bore diameter gauge to them, but I know they're not what I'd really like them to be. And the customer did state that he wanted to put bronze in. Now I can do that. I can, I can put thin wall guides in, I can hone them to size, I can get them just right. Of course, I need the new valves in order to do that right. But there's no question we have to redo the valve job at that point. And then he's like, well, probably, maybe we should just upgrade the valve sizes at that point. Is it a lot more work? Kind of, but they, these heads are quite bang in the way they are. I mean... It's a 194. I don't remember ever making a 194 head that, that did what these guys do, uh, to be honest. And uh, what would they do with a 202? They're, they're almost identical to... I did another set of darts a couple of years ago, maybe. There's a video of my other... My uh, 007 Vortec Killer uh, videos. And those flow 275. But they also have a bigger valve and probably a bigger port at this point. In any case, guys, uh, give me your opinions on going to a bigger valve on these. I personally like to see these go. I don't know if I want to work on them anymore. I get, I go down the rabbit hole so deep that it just, I get sick of it after a while. But this is a cool project. Uh, Now, what would what do you think the bigger valve would do through the whole the whole setup, the throttle body, the plenum, the runners, the base, and the head? I don't know if it's going to change it that much. I don't know. All right, guys, fourteen minutes in, talking about nothing like always. I talk way too much. I do. Oh well. Give me your input, guys. Thanks for hanging out. Have a good night.